cooks would do the ship's laundry on Wednesday nights. Um, the cooks who are doing it, they're the only like supply division type. Of yeah, well, they're, and they're they're the ones who uh, uh, you know they have uh, um, they have responsibility for ships' linens, the towels. Um, I guess they're doing the uh, the officers' bed linens. Each individual crewman can do his own laundry as long as there's uh, sufficient fresh water available, which would also include uh, collecting the condensate from the ship's air conditioning systems. Mm. Now, it's distilled water, but uh, they, I'm told it was often milky gray and smelled of cigarettes. But it, it certainly smelled better than, than your, your skivvies and socks. Um, but, you know, um, everybody, uh, in terms of showers like where you are, uh, you know, crewman on cod got a full shower every third day, a basin bath every day. The cooks always, of course, got a shower every day because they're handling the food. Uh, but again, that goes away, uh, you know, with uh, the advent of the snorkels. Uh, but yeah, I mean, laundry bags here, uh, they uh, would use uh, um, uh, Fell's Napa soap. Uh, you would shave that in there. It was like the universal soap. It wasn't exactly great on your skin, but... Uh, uh, you know, they they tried to make the fleet boat as habitable as possible, uh, uh, so that they could uh, retain the best and brightest for the crew. How frequently did you say they could do laundry? Uh, well, you you know, these guys are traveling light. Um, one of the crewmen said that uh, he would uh, collect his laundry about once a week. You would do t-shirts, your boxer shorts, or whatever, and your your uh, your socks, and. Um, you know, you often uh, uh, would gang up with other guys. Um, again, there weren't really the divisions, but as long as the water is available, you got permission, you could do your laundry. Uh, and, of course, the dryers are in the engine rooms. Well, we're in the uh, forward engine room. And, uh, of course, Ryan, if you'd just step aside to reveal the, the beautiful Badger stills. Uh, each one of those could produce 1,000 gallons a day when they're working properly. Uh, they were a little finicky. But if you uh, uh, read the manual and, and, and followed all the instructions, they could produce 1,000 gallons a day each. Um, and um, you use this room as the dryer because this is the air induction for the engine room. And those large uh, vertical silver uh, cylinders on either side, on the forward ends of the, uh, the GM diesels, that's where the air comes in. And when you run a diesel, there is quite a draft of air. In fact, um, that air might even be kind of pulling the, uh, the lighter fabrics toward the, uh, the air intake. So the air stream combined with the heat generated by a 20-ton steel diesel, your laundry dries uh, uh, incredibly fast. So, but as long as you hang it forward of the induction, you don't want to hang it aft. Uh, and of course, you did get uh, permission from the uh, Motor Max uh, to hang your laundry. Or else they use it as a grease rag. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but you know, life aboard a boat. So, how often do you guys do laundry? Let us know in the comment section down below. Anybody still hang their laundry up on lines like this? When I was younger, my mom did, but uh, we haven't done that for years now. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. Consider supporting the ongoing restoration efforts here on USS Cod to make her look like the crew uh, just stepped out for a minute as you're touring the ship. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support their efforts. There's also a link to their social media if you'd like to learn more about uh, Cod and what life was like on a World War II fleet boat like her. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.